Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform an ordinary photograph into a hand-painted watercolor painting. I like this technique better than the watercolor filter in Photoshop because it allows you to hand paint the image, giving you much more nuance and control. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Double click on the layer and we'll rename it Base. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of it. We'll rename it Smart Blur. Go to Filter, Blur, and Smart Blur. We'll make the Radius 10, the Threshold 30, the Quality High, and the Mode Normal. Depending on the size and resolution of your image, you may want to adjust these amounts. Click on the base to make it active and make a copy of it. Drag the copy to the top and we'll rename it Pencil Lines. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Glowing Edges. The Glowing Edges window will open. We'll make the Edge Width 1, the Edge Brightness 12, and the Smoothness 15. We'll invert this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command plus I and desaturate it by pressing Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. We'll change the Blend Mode to Multiply and change the Opacity to 80%. Click on Smart Blur to make it active and make a copy of it. We'll rename this layer Brush. Invert the selection and change the blend mode to color dodge. Call up your brush tool and open up your list of brush presets. Click Reset Brushes and click OK. Then click on the list again and choose Small List. This gives you visual icons of the brush tips as well as their description. Scroll down and choose Dry Brush. I'm going to use about a 140 pixel brush. Make the opacity 10%. Randomly brush over most of your image. Open up your list of presets again and choose Wet Media Brushes. Click OK and choose Watercolor Textured Surface. Make the opacity 50%. To make your brush larger, press on the right bracket key. Brush over your image again. I'm doing this quickly, but experiment with various sized brushes and strokes. Notice when you overlap your brush strokes, it creates darker areas just like real watercolors do. Click on your top layer to make it active and press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose Vibrance. Slide the Vibrance all the way to 100. The last step is to create watercolor paper texture. Click on the composite snapshot to make it active and go to Filter, Texture, and Texturizer. The Texturizer window will open. We'll use Sandstone for the texture. The scaling is 50% and the relief is 3. And the light will come from the top. Using these techniques, have fun transforming your photos into authentic looking hand painted watercolors. Each one will be unique because you're brushing in individual paint strokes. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.